Alright, what is up everybody and welcome to a little bit of a new series. So basically what I'm going to be trying to do is cover all of the Pixelmon news and some of the updates posted on the blog and relay them to you through this, you know, series. Hopefully it'll become a weekly, if there's some huge news, maybe I'll do even do a little bit of a special episode like around when the new updates come out. I'll go over all of the new changes and such and I'd also like to get some community interaction with this. Like definitely as you can see on the side i want to have a video and a mod to show every week maybe even in the future have some servers as um, i do know a little bit more i guess than the average user because i, I do host a server i've been playing minecraft for a long time and um, i do make videos myself so i may be able to give a little bit more insight on what's cool and what's not so uh, that's basically what my ideology behind the series is and let's just get right into it so the first piece of news I'm going to cover is something posted a week or so back, a little bit more, and uh, basically they are revamping the PCs in the new Pixelmon update. So I think there are thought process behind this is they're going to make it a lot less likely for you to accidentally lose Pokemon, some sort of glitch or anything like that. So basically if you watch the video on screen that should be right about now, uh, you can see how if you click and then uh, it's like you're going to click to uh, transfer the Pokemon and you can move it to an empty spot and such and such. So I, I really like this feature and um, I really like the, the way they're doing this as it just kind of makes it elegant and clean as long and also they're piggybacking off of this. I guess, and they're allowing you to change the Pokemon you have in your inventory, so change the order as uh, it just from your inventory screen in Minecraft, and I love this feature, as um, before, you, there was really, you had to go to a PC if you wanted to change your Pokemon, and it really was kind of obnoxious and just, you know, annoying, really, so uh, I'm curious, though, if they're going to add being able to have zero Pokemon, I doubt it, but it would have been kind of nice to just, you know, be able to actually get rid of all the Pokemon you have for, I mean, I can't think of a necessarily reason right off the top of my head, but just something to add, I mean, why not, right? But um, I, I don't think that's added just yet. So custom mob spawners, I really think this one's going to be huge for Pixelmon because it has such a great potential for custom maps and just so much originality, but there was just those slight features missing, and this is one of them. So as you can see on the video, it does look like you can have, um, add multiple Pokemon, you could set, like, the rarity, so, how, like, how often it uh, spawns in relation to others, as I'm guessing that's what it's going to be. It looks like you could set it to have shiny and a boss Pokemon as well, and also you could hook it up to redstone, which I thought was pretty cool, and that's going to really definitely for adventure maps and stuff like that, I could definitely see after these being released a huge increase in Pixelmon adventure maps, and maybe even some uh, revamps of ad original adventure maps that exist now. So on the other side, you can also have the spawn tick, so how often it spawns, the radius, how far around. So I wonder if there's going to be a limit on that like can I send or set a 5,000 block radius I think that could be kind of interesting uh for servers definitely like can you just set this so you know maybe only these Pokemon will spawn in a certain biome and set it so regular Pixelmon spawn will be off and you can only spawn based off spawners it could kind of make things a little bit unique have like towns create their own different Pokemon surrounding I don't know there are a lot of uh, possibilities with this thing and you have the min level max level just how often uh, they will go up and down and then again the boss ratio so and then the aggression i found it interesting i don't know what that is but i'm gonna guess it's if they'll just like attack you automatically or if you like if you're standing nearby if they'll just like right now they'll walk up and battle you or if they won't i think that's actually a pretty cool feature if that is what it is I, i'm you know kind of guessing here but i imagine i don't see what else it could be that'd be kind of nice though you know so you could actually have like a nice little garden let's say and not get worry about getting battled by some pokemon every few seconds all around a really nice feature i really do want to see what comes out of this and i'm um, excited for it in the next update so the addition of pokey loot i think this is another really great change because right now in pixelmon actually let me backtrack a little. If you don't know what Pokey Loot is, uh, basically, as you can see in the video right here, it is if you are kind of wandering around in the wilderness, you could find these little things on the ground, and if you right-click them, a piece of loot will come out, and obviously, it, it'll be varying degrees of uh, rarity of the different Pokey Loot chests, and you'll also get better loot out of certain things, and I, I don't know, I think there are certain, it's a certain randomness to it, and there are also... Uh, like little tiers, I believe that's what's being changed in this mod uh, and with the addition of Pixelmon. So if you don't know, it was a mod for just a side mod to Pixelmon originally. And um, 
this was way back and it's been around for a while i remember using it and i really like the direction it's gone but that's kind of not related to this what is important with this i think is them incorporating a side mod so i don't know if they did this in this in the past i don't know of them doing it in the past but this definitely sets a interesting point of maybe the side mod creators can strive to get them inc incorporated like i mean can we see other things being incorporated in the future i think that could definitely be really interesting like the furniture mod the cycles mod just little additions that can really add a lot in you know just and they don't really have to do any work they, they'll probably polish it a little and add it so i really think this could be uh, you know more than taken at face value this addition of pokey loot I, I if we see other mods added it could really change a lot and so the last thing before we get into uh, what the community spotlights are is a graphics artist there mr macintosh who is the creator of pixelmon and head of pixelmon did make a little post for you know they are looking for a graphics artist for pixelmon um just kind of this is like a shameless well not really shameless i'm just giving them a plug if you guys do or if you are graphics artists you may want to go check this out it could definitely be a huge opportunity for you even just as um you know a youtube graphics artist because i know a lot of graphics artists get exposure through youtube and things like that because pixelmon on youtube is huge and if you're helping on one of those projects you know it could be really huge for you and um yeah so i'm just a link to that is in the description if you are interested and um yeah so now let's get on to the community stuff so the first community mod of the week is the pixel dex mod and it's not even so much a mod which is kind of ironic uh it's not a minecraft mod at all it's uh, another additional application but this thing is really useful if you um see here uh, there's an image of the gui and actually if you click on this video right now i'll go much more in depth as uh, it'll be like a little spotlight of it that i did make and uh, basically what this does is it allows you to search all of the pixelmon in the mod currently and um, you could find you know the rarity what biome they're in and just some useful features where they spawn and stuff and what drops they have i could totally see that being extremely useful so you could also search from uh, different parameters and stuff so if you're really just looking for things it's just something i think good to have like if you're looking for a pixel mod uh, all the fire types that you have you're trying to create a team and you're like well i know what fire types are in pokemon but what about in pixelmon i think that's what i'm going to really be using this for and especially when i'm looking for certain pixelmon after i find them or maybe i'm in a you know forest biome and i want to see what spawns here or what can potentially spawn here another really good way for a really good use for this mod so i definitely could see this thing becoming pretty popular it has only been made a few days ago and i know mr mcintosh even commented on the thread saying he might uh give some help on the gui for this so definitely something to look at i, I find it really interesting i could see this being really really useful especially with future updates as more and more is added for the video and kind of conclusion to this it is actually my own video that i made and i'm not going to do this every week or hopefully any other week other than this but basically what this video is is i try to use some after effects effects to make some of the pixelmon moves look a bit more realistic so uh, i did thunderbolt in this and we have a dragonite battling a uh, matang and basically as the dragonite goes to attack he actually uses his uh, attack so it looks like a real attack is coming out of him and i thought it was just kind of you know a cool unique way to do it obviously in the future i don't want my own videos that's not giving anyone else really any exposure and um if you guys do want to be on this part of the thing please pm me on youtube with a link to your video or just saying hey check out my video it's something unique a little bit different original or maybe i just i'm new i want some exposure i'll be trying to give you guys some like maybe a, almost a little shout out at the end of these and uh, it'll be kind of the conclusion and anchor to all of these but otherwise that is all of my videos for this week or all the news that happened this week not all my videos uh those are somewhere else but yeah so i hope you guys do enjoy the series if you have any suggestions or things i should be doing differently please let me know if you liked it give me a like if you hated it give me 10 dislikes because um, i really am interested in the feedback on the series and uh, maybe the community just doesn't want a series like this i, I mean i figured i'd just take a shot in the dark because it didn't look like anyone else was doing it so hopefully as more updates come out things will uh, you know progress and excel i know uh, i definitely kind of want to get some model spotlights on here as well so uh, as new models are added i'll kind of show those um right now i i couldn't do this for the first episode as um I want to get the, a feel for everything else before I go on to uh, a little bit more ambitious thing. So, yeah, that's the first ex episode of Pixelmon News. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next episode, which is hopefully going to be next week. We'll see how it goes. Later. Later.